Uh, look what's on TV, sweetie. You know, I was just a little girl when that game happened. The whole world watched the, that match live. You know, before then, basketball was just a sport. But when we watched it, we all saw. Fame. Power. Basketball is life now. If you're not cool with that, you can get the hell out. Billboards are all basketball. Sports are only basketball. Schools, now just basketball. We live in an age where if you play anything more than one by one, you're looked at as weak. You need a partner? What went wrong with your life? All of us grew up watching that footage, and it seems all anyone saw was fame and power. But me? All I saw was... Purity. Hey, Chris, tell Diana I'll wait for him at the gym. Interesting. I will tell them. Nobody sees it in my way. The basketball community has blown into one of the biggest lakes of Austin Nation in human history. So much so that people pretty much only name their children Chris and Diana. After the classic basketball championship, no one names their kid Eric, the name of the underdog, and yes, the loser of the great match. And of course, my parents were one of those nobodies. My name is Eric. Hey, Goof Troop. What's up? You know you can set with all the pretty folk over there, right? Screw. You know oil and water don't mix. I'm just helping, man. Well, don't. You're here to make money, so go where you belong, away from me. Well, I am not only person, not where he belongs, eh? Hey, Diano! <laughs> hey, that's number uh, W, boy! Yeah, oh, alright. Uh, oh, the other manager literally gave me this halfway through match. There was no way for you to lose. Oh, gracias, senor. Huh. <laughs> Who do you have over here? Hey there, what'd you think? Why do you even come to these things? Especially to see me. And don't pretend you don't hate my guts because I don't need to interrogate you to do that. Hey, hey, what's your name, boy? Hey, what's your name? His name's Eric. Yeah, he's been here for all of your matches this season, Daniel. <laughs> With the whole season? Man! <sighs> I only noticed your presence for a quarter of those matches. You look like an Eric, which means you don't belong with basketball. The world is basketball. Well. Please pay for it. Great uh, for our commemoration of the great match of 2015. Now, uh, that brings us a good segue into our next segment, our annual retrospective on the Great Match of 2015 is still considered by many to be one of the greatest sporting events of all time, uh, bringing in an estimated 92% of the world's population to watch one small sporting event. Why did it draw so much attention? Well, it... We have to underestimate the hell to come from. Just the sheer number of players a spectacle that goes on stage. Since then, we've yet to have a single sporting event that has ever drawn nearly as much of a crowd. The highest event being the 2018. 
2018 Winter Olympics, which only drew in a lofty 52% of the world's population at one point. The world still waits for another return of these two players, and both of them have been lost to time. The world still waits to see these two players ever since that great event. <laughs> This isn't the advice that I gave you now, is it? I was, I was just leaving. No, you aren't. What, you play by yourself in your free time now, huh? What? How did you get that? I take it. You followed me home? <laughs> he sure did. Chris, I knew you were being nice, but that's creepy. You're missing the larger point here. Larger point? What, you don't feel it? Because I felt it. Chris definitely felt it, and I think that you felt it too, because when we three met, you suddenly had the urge to go outside and play basketball. Eric, you, me, Diano, we're part of something much larger. History is repeating itself. The great one-on-one -one match of 2015, they're about to happen again. You the and Diano hell, are destined to play basketball again and again for the rest of eternity. And I will defeat you again and again because it is destined. People will watch from around the world. Cameras will come and we shall define an era for years to come. Get the hell away from me. Hey, 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 you can't ignore destiny, you moron. No need to worry. It is destined. It will happen. Or we could keep pestering him. Hey Chris, tell Diana I'll wait for him at the gym. Eric? <clears throat> they told me you want to win me. Yes, Diana, I'm coming for you. Give me two days and I will let you know the distance between you and me. You want to defeat me? Really? Is that a joke? Don't be so arrogant. You won't win. Oh. oh, Eric. We will play, but you will never win. Not with that injury. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Did you break your leg?
How did you broke your leg? Are you a friar? Sure not. I broke my leg by accident. Told Diana that I will fight him other day. I know that sound a lie. Please told him I will win. Okay. I will told him. No one will win me. No one. Diano, Eric broke his leg. He said he will win you at next fight. I will wait for him. Sorry to interrupt our usual programming, folks, but frankly, you're definitely not gonna mind. It's looking to be the game of the century here. A Diana and an Eric squaring off in one of the most intense matches ever seen on television. It's tied 299 to 299 here, and whoever scores the next point wins. And they're going for it! He has it, but the shot's blocked! But wait! Oh my god, no way! Oh my god, no way! After that, things were different forever. Basketball is still life, as it should be, and humanity as a whole is relatively similar. But there was sort of a change, something in the air, a change to how people saw the world. Basketball blossomed to something even bigger. One-on-one -on -one was no longer the only format allowed. And in the 2097 census results, over 90% of newborns were named Eric. Next level.